so I'm going to click on the flashcard activity that we created and there are just two flashcards in here one of a clownfish and then one of a koala what I want to do though is to edit the copyright information so I'm gonna turn editing on I'm gonna come down to the various cards I'm just gonna do the first one in this example and there's the image of the clownfish and I'm gonna click on this edit copyright button that will bring up this dialog box just resize that and we have options to add a title and an author the year and so on I know where I got this clownfish image from and it was from Flickr on this page so it's something that I would probably start with uh, to get the attribution is taking a copy of the originator's name the person that kindly posted this for other people to use and um, just because it's a, a link from Flickr there I might or a, a username I might just correct that so it looks a little bit nicer obviously I want to put the title in there and uh, this person did call that a clownfish um, to check the year and the source and these are both vital um, I can check the year we can see that that's 2006 and the source of course is the URL that that image is actually sitting on so I can put the year in just type that in and um, copy and paste across the URL next I want to look at the uh, license information and we can see that there's some rights reserved on this particular image so clicking the link in Flickr will take us to the actual license details for this image and as we can see it's it's a um, attribution non-commercial non-derivatives to type license that this was released under so it's vitally important that I replicate that in here so that the original license is referenced and that was actually a too generic oops too generic there we go um, I'm happy with that that's all there that's what we need to do for any image that we're taking from elsewhere so I can just close that down and remember obviously to save that and that will basically embed that image information within that content now it is worth recognizing however that not every content type within h5p has exactly the same process for adding this so I've just gone to my to an h5p dot com account and I'm going to select a quiz activity which is actually very similar um, showing my obsession about Australian animals and marsupials again um, I'm going to edit this quiz and of course it's going to bring up the standard editor from within h5p within a quiz I have similar to a flashcards lots of different uh, questions and in here I've got the clownfish image again slightly different with a quiz of course where we might have uh, multiple options for people to choose from a clownfish and a shark however what I'm focusing on is the copyright information now we've got edit image but we don't have the copyright button and instead we have this metadata button now that will bring up this type of dialog box which as you can see is is in fact very similar we have the title we have the license and the license version we have the year it was uh, created and a link to the original image and also we can show the originator or the author of that work but we also have a couple of additional areas here the license extras which um, we might want to put other information in here that's relevant we have a change log so if we have actually made a small change to that original image let's say we've cropped it or resized it or altered the color we can actually document that within the image there so that people can see it's slightly changed from that original and and how it was changed and when it was changed and then we have some 
uh, another area for additional information and this isn't part of the copyright information it's just something for us as a as a designer as a teacher as someone that's using this content so we might want to put a note on there about replacing this image in the future perhaps find a, a clearer image or something like that that's just a note for for ourselves really relevant to that particular image so um we're fairly happy with that we um have updated the same type of information just a different format the the important bits are obviously the author and and the the location of the original once we're happy with all that we can click on save that metadata and that's now embedded within that image and within that content type <laughs>